And in the meantime, <laughs> yeah, I prepare a cup of coffee. That's a good idea. Okay, <clears throat> it seems like we really finished now the Intel X64 that were the graphic card drivers. The Intel management engine is still missing. But what's important for me are the graphic drivers. So we will answer that and setup file so we will go with this application let's see what happened looks good. I accept. And I start. <coughs> Graphic driver is installing. Normally the screen can go out and on again during the installation. Um, yeah, but we will see if that happens. <laughs> I love that. Do you know? Integrated Electronics. That's the Intel name source. Yeah. Um, that's really useful knowledge. So it goes out and on again. I was f first a little bit confused because at the same time, my egg cooker gave the signal that the egg is ready. But we are in the middle of the graphic driver installation, so the egg must wait.
Okay, sorry for the interruption, but I decided to let uh, run some cold water over my egg. So, we're at the end. I should restart my system, but I will restart it later. We see here the Intel UHD graphics. That's really nice. And if we have done it before, we can trash this folder. And it looks like It looks like, yeah, the Intel management environment is downloaded. So it's a little bit of pain because the battery of the keyboard is at its end. I every time need to switch on and off the keyboard that it's recognized. So I will go hopefully with a functional mouse. No, this one not. But I have here a second one. And he also... Ah, he recognized it. That's good. Now I have a real mouse and here we have the Intel management environment. We want to unzip that. And here we have a setup file. If we have a setup named file, we every time go with the setup named. If we don't have a setup, we can go with the install maybe. And as we have seen uh, with the Intel graphic driver installation, um, we don't have a setup or install named file. We have another named file that's a little bit weird, but yeah, it is like it is. So that was the last thing. And everything here looks good. So as a nearly last job, we make a new start. Don't make a shutdown and then power it on again. Make a new start. Um, every time you install some drivers or major uh, Windows updates or something like that, make a new start. Then he really starts new. If you just shut it down and power it on again with the power button, it is not the same like if, uh, when you choose new start. So. It's booting up. Oh, 
Okay, we can. Oh, it was too late to go in the setup. <coughs> but I guess this is what we do first. So we have here the, the Windows Hello pin and then we make again the new start to hop into the BIOS. So that was a beep. And we enter in the setup. And seventy one degrees. Okay. That's not low, but that is the same I had on my Intel N100 ASUS um, passively cooled build. Um, the 71 degrees I'm totally fine. I'm also fine with 80. If we reach 90 or above uh, then I feel uncomfortable. So 71 is okay. And yeah, we do our hopefully final reboot. And again, our Windows Hello pin. And we are on the desktop and we can go to the device manager with a right click here on the start. And we have the Intel UHD and the processor, everything looks fine. We have the wireless LAN. Wireless LAN available, that's good, seems to work. What I want to do at the last thing, but I do it offline because um, this is not not necessary and I will install it later on I've, after I've done some benchmarks it's um, here the Intel Arc drivers um, the UHD uh, also works with this Arc drivers and the Arc drivers um, are <coughs> normally the fastest and I go for the beta beta version yeah, you see here it's also for Intel Iris XE graphics okay I have Intel UHD um, but uh, the UHD has 64 XE cores so it will also work with this driver. Um, so I also made this uh, on the ASUS N100. Um, but yeah, I will install it later um, to see if I can recognize a difference then um, in um, the 
GPU user benchmark. That's the only one I really have. Um, I run it twice. I run it with installed driver installed um, like you have seen and I will run it then a second time after the uh, Intel Arc beta drivers uh, installation and yeah let's see if um, this gives a little improvement in the graphics score so right now I would say we are at the point where I want to go. Um, you have here your desktop, everything looks fine in the device manager and the installation right now is complete. Now the interesting part of the installation comes all the programs, but um, yeah, this is um, on another uh, point. Um, let's check at the latest thing here my this PC okay I have my data drive that's the Kingston SSD and I normally go and rename this to a system and there i have it <clears throat> yeah I, I i i choose this kingston ssd because of the money uh, yeah um, the, um, what uh, really should be in or come in there is a four terabyte uh serial utter ssd um, this costs around 200 bucks and this was um, at the moment um, too much for me so I decided to go with the old one terabyte I have and I will later on um, upgrade the drive therefore I will attach the new drive with a um, USB enclosure copy the complete old drive to the new drive and then just swap the new drive and everything should be fine um, maybe I will do that on um, cyber uh, well, what's it called no it's Black Friday yeah Black Friday maybe there's a good offering for 4 terabyte SSD um but uh, if not yeah maybe on christmas that yeah to use um christmas money for that i will see it it is not so so urgent because with two terabytes i'm in generally fine um but this pc should become my main pc so um, I really want to have more. I really want to have around four gigabytes. Um, so yeah, with a one terabyte boot drive and the non-existing of three terabyte serial other drives, I need to go with a four terabyte. So in total five terabytes. And yeah, this will last then for, <coughs> yeah, it must last forever. Um, yeah, okay, that's it, the end of the video, I say thank you, and um, I wish you uh, a nice rest of the weekend, and thanks for listening, and bye bye.